What's up YouTube, Eugene here. And I've been asked to do five fragrances for women for the month of December, which I'm happy to do. I wear women's perfume quite often. And if there's one thing I want the guys to take away from my videos is uh, you're more than welcome to wear women's perfume and you won't be offending anybody. You'll actually be doing yourself a disservice by not wearing it if that's what you love. Um, you know, I struggled for a short time in my early days about wearing women's fragrances, but that, you know, quickly flew over my head. I could care less now. Hardly anyone ever comments, and if they did, I would care even less. But, um, you know, women are free to wear men's fragrances just as well. And Although I'd never be caught wearing, you know, a woman's dress or a blouse or a skirt or heels or stockings or makeup or any of that sort of thing, um, I'm fine with guys that want to. I've hung out with dudes that have gone full woman mode and, uh, you know, as long as they're not hurting anybody, it's, it's fine with me, you know, I'm not offended. But, uh, so yeah, t if you're gonna take anything away from my videos, you're free to wear any fragrance whenever you want. And number two, price has no bearing on the quality of fragrance. So the the list I made for the other day, I, I said it was you know more geared for the men, the macho men, and they were all higher end designer exclusives or or luxury niche, and the price points were just you know kind of outrageous for perfume. This list here is much more affordable, but that doesn't make the quality or the concept of these perfumes any less. I think this list could actually even be better than the one I posted the other day. So don't let price deter you and don't let gender of fragrance deter you from wearing it if that's what you love, please. Okay, so the first one I've got is, this is Coco Mademoiselle. And I remember smelling this the first time. Actually, I smelt it on women before that, but as I was getting into fragrances and smelling stuff in the drugstore, I was like, wow, I really like this, but you know, too bad I can't wear it because it's for women. And as I would keep going back to the store, I would reach for the tester and I'd be like, wait, hang on a second, why can't I wear this? You know, what's stopping me? Where's that barrier? Is it, it's just literally the sales assistant telling me that's for women and it says Mademoiselle on the bottle and the juice is pink. Who cares, right? You know, so, I ended up purchasing it and I've loved it ever since. And it is floral, which I'm fine with. I love florals and I love Chanel. And this is a sparkling uh, floral for Chuli. And you can see they've definitely taken a piece of uh, Terry Mugler's Angel and, and really softened it up. You know, they've taken out all the sharp edges and even a little bit of that stickiness from Angel. Um, so this has got that, it's got that fruitiness, some lychee. It's got florals. They're slightly on the sharper side. They're not that balmy, cosmetic-y type that I love, but there's uh, rose, jasmine, iris, your typical Chanel florals, and then you got that really sticky patchouli note in the base. Slightly resinous, woody, incense-y. And I remember the first time wearing this to work and I was a little bit like apprehensive. What, what are people gonna say? But as I came into the shop, uh, the supervisor came running out of his office, which was on the floor above us in a separate entrance. So he had to open the door and he's like, Eugene, I knew you were here. I could smell your perfume from inside the office. And I was like, whoa, wow. You, you know, Coco Mademoiselle can do that. He didn't mention anything about it smelling girly or feminine or, or like flowers. That's all he said was he noted how strong the fragrance was. So Coco Mademoiselle would be my pick for December, which is one of the most wonderful times of the year considering the holidays and, um, it gives us time to wear these heavy, heavier Orientals. Most of these are Orientals. Coco is Coco Mademoiselle is I don't I wouldn't consider this an Oriental. It's more of a 
a fruity floral or almost like a floral shebra. Could have some, some moss-like uh, effects to that. Here's my scent of the day. The Sheba Queen, the queen of all Orientals. And, you know, this alone, I think, beats all the fragrances that I had in um, the video the other day. All those high-end designer exclusives, all those high-end luxury niche perfumes. This is the Cat's Meow. So right on opening, it's kind of a jumbled mess. It's like, I, I can sense the commotion in here, but when this settles down, it is absolutely beautiful. And Shelly Mar has always been about bergamot and vanilla. Uh, it's got that sparkling bergamot, that warm, soft, sensual vanilla. You know, but within that vanilla, you're gonna get that that dry leather, uh, balmy leather, almost like a a nicely worn in uh, luxury woman's handbag. Uh, in in the heart, you just, there's uh, a lot of florals, uh, powdery. They seem kind of cosmetic-y. Um, a very smoky perfume. One thing you should know, and like I said before, price has no bearing. Um, neither do naturals or synthetics because not ever once was there a natural drop of vanilla used in Shalimar. It's always been synthetics, so... You know, if you're one of those people that are always crying about, oh, that smells, synthetics aren't bad, you know. Synthetics aren't really bad when the perfume smells cheap, but I've never had a, a complaint against synthetics unless it actually smells. I don't want to smell synthetics. I could care less of what they use inside the perfume. All right, next. Your Addict which is also another, um, man, this is, this is bold. It's almost as bold as Shalimar in a sense, but it's got this really interesting contrast I get in the opening, like this very clean, um, it's almost like clean citrus and it reminds me of clean sheets. And then the contrasting effect is the dirty florals, especially that night blooming jasmine. It's, it's a little bit raunchy, it's sexy, uh, it's sophisticated, it's grown up, it's mature. Um, there's some darkness in here, the, the vanilla, it's smoky, incense-y. So this was crafted by um, current Guerlain head perfumer, Terry Wasser, and uh, it reminds me of Oddly, a flanker of Shalimar. They, you know, they're both very heavy and floral, and 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 vanillas, and and uh, they're both smoky. But it reminds me of Shalimar Souffle Intense, which is also created by by Thierry Wasser. I'm not putting this on my list, but I just wanted to make the comparison. And it's interesting how they they both come in these really nice blue flacons. I wonder how that happened. Was that by intent? This might be a little bit sweeter, but they both have kind of like that, that ghostly effect. I hear renovation next door. All right, next, opium. And if this was released today, this would be uh, considered niche and it would sell for about $450 a bottle. I think that's what they go for now as these older vintage styles. Well, they're not 450, but they're, you know, they're much more than, than current prices. But this would be definitely considered niche. I'm not sure if a lot of women would be wanting to wear this unless they had a, a fine taste. But this is aggressive and this is bold and this is hairy and it's a spicy, woody oriental with a lot of patchouli. This is, oh, man, it's sharp and abrasive. And I, I'm shocked that women used to wear this 
or anybody would want to wear this uh, 30 years ago. And that this was actually released, you know, under the designer level. But it's strong. I, I can only wear one, one spray of this, two at the absolute max. It's, it's that aggressive and strong and powerful. But um, it's got a lot of warmth to it. It's, it's spicy. It's musky. It's leathery. It's woody. It's almost got this church-like effect to it, like a, like a burning church. But if I want something uh, to keep me warm in the harsher um, winter days, I think I would reach for this. Uh, there's not too many times other than, <laughs> than December and January that I'd want to wear that. Maybe the newer versions will be easier to wear, especially the, uh, is it black opium, the really sweet ones? Okay, lastly, is that one, two, three, four, five? We've got L'Ombre de Merveille. And uh, this is a gorgeous amber fragrance. So it's sweet, it's warm, it's uh, spicy. And it's very similar to the original. I think where the original is more fresh, this adds a little bit more depth to it. And it's it's almost a gourmand without getting sugary sweet. And it does kind of remind me of uh, Ombre Nargile without, it, it's not as complex or, it's, it's probably also even easier to wear. It's not smoky like that at all, but it's a little bit sticky, it's sweet. It almost reminds me of where Ombre and Argale is like a, a warm baked apple cinnamon pie. This to me is like fresh, freshly baked benzoin cookies. Benzoin a lot of times reminds me of cookies. I, I'm not sure. Benzoin's a sweet note for me. It always has been. There's a little bit of incense in here, ambers, woods. And uh, it's just, it's like a really nice second skin. That's what it reminds me of is is almost like clean, clean, fresh skin with some interesting take on it, if you know what I mean. But I think that's very unisex. I think it's marketed towards women, but it's it's also very unisex. Um, the most femme of these, I, I would say, is Coco Mademoiselle and then maybe Dior Addict. Shelly Mar can easily be considered uh, unisex or, or for a man, it's got that really pungent leathery note. Um, yeah, the leather is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Shalimar's, uh, actually Guerlain, you know, back in that day, they, they use leather in a lot of, you know, the Mitsuko, the Jiki, uh, Lure Blue, and it's almost like the same type of leather, just a, a really nice suede handbag, um, leather but there you go uh, opium can definitely be worn by man i think it is made for man or really hairy women but uh easily can be worn by a man um outrageous absolutely outrageous uh but there you go ladies hope you enjoyed that um there you go drop a comment down below and we will see you soon bye for now